Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so uh, I'm Louise Kenny, as Michelle said, and I'm the Executive Pro Vice Chancellor of the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences at Liverpool University. I'm actually a Scouser. I was born in Liverpool and I trained as a doctor in Liverpool. Um, my jobbing, my daytime job, I'm a jobbing obstetrician. I look after women who uh, have complex or high risk pregnancies. Uh, but for the last two years, I've been in a leadership position uh, at the university where I trained in the city where I grew up. Um, and so it was with some uh, trepidation and a huge amount of passion that I embraced tonight's topic, um, sort of local versus national. And, and I'd like to start by saying that I think really quite clearly it's not an either or and it's not a binary choice. Uh, there has to be a, a mixed economy. But for sure, uh, COVID has very painfully, uh, certainly for us in the north and I'm sure for uh, the whole country, highlighted those areas of, of public health and uh, healthcare provision within the NHS, um, which would do better uh, or even flourish uh, under, under greater local control. And before I illustrate this with a couple, of, a couple of very topical examples, I'd like to firstly issue a health warning and secondly, uh, some context. So the health warning is that um, it's really easy to be wise after the event. And what I'm about to say may be very critical and in a way it, it probably is. Uh, but I'm not for one minute pretending I am an expert, um, uh, certainly in any of the topics that I'm about to speak on. Um, and I'm not certain I would have actually done anything different, uh, differently if I had been in charge of decision making, you know, 12 or so weeks ago. But I think the point of reflections like this is that we need to learn lessons. Um, we need to remember what this crisis has taught us and, and not forget, because as we were Talking as a group a few minutes ago, we were just reflecting on the fact that in the last 22 or so years, there have been five um, infections with pandemic or actual uh, pandemic potential or have reached pandemic proportions. And that means that once we're on the other side of this, there will likely be another potential pandemic along in the next four to five years. Um, so that's the health warning. And secondly, the context. There's nothing like a global pandemic to illustrate that we are a global village and that borders are pretty futile. Um, we've heard the mantra repeated over the last 12 weeks that we're all in this together and we are to a point. But the reality is that in my city, COVID is not treating our society equally uh, and neither are the measures we're taking to combat it. Uh, even before COVID hit, Liverpool faced a series of very specific uh, and very difficult health challenges. Health Health, health outcomes in my city are amongst the worst in the country. Um, every year uh, there are about 1,800 premature deaths. Um, a baby girl born in uh, Kensington, Liverpool tonight can expect to live on average 13 fewer years in good health than a baby girl born and raised in Kensington and London. And furthermore, there is huge inequality in my city. If you travel just 20 miles across the Mersey Rail network, you will pass through postcodes in which the average life expectancy varies by as much as 12 years. Um, so the massive inequality. So, and then dealing with all that, those challenges was, cha was difficult enough and then COVID hit. So what have we learned so far? Um, so what I think we've learned in terms of local versus national uh, control of our, our health care resources is that we are a diverse country and COVID has certainly exaggerated our diversity. Modelling of the disease in London, which I think in fairness has led to some very London centric decisions, have national consequences uh, and not, they are not always to the benefit of, of the regions. For example, the pattern of community transmission and hospital um, admission in Liverpool is very different to what's been seen in, in London. And I'm not just talking about the time lag. And that means that we haven't experienced a spike, we've experienced a plateau and our, our slope to recovery is intensely shallow. And that means that we are now easing out of lockdown at a time when our city is still really in the middle of the battle. And I worry that that decision will mean that we will face a second spike uh, at a time when we are very ill prepared to, to deal with it. So in terms of local versus national control, I'd like to just finish by illustrating with two brief examples uh, where I think local is more important. We've all heard the mantra about data saves lives, data is the new oil, data is incredibly important in actually combating uh, COVID-19, particularly with the, with the test, trace um, and treat mantra. 
But we know from countries in Scandinavia that the level of trust is actually only really possible to be held uh, in a population of about two to three million people. People are clan, we, we are a clan like people, we like to belong to a clan. And once you go beyond that, you lose that level of trust. And so I think national uh, initiatives, including national testing apps, are going to be really problematic. And that's where I think we need to look very carefully at how we actually are networking our, our data. We in Liverpool have firmly believed that the Connected Healthy Cities model is the best, a sort of um, federated network of cooperatives where trust is held at the two to three million population level and data is shared in an pseudo anonymized way. And I'm sort of out of time, so I'll finish very briefly by just mentioning testing. Testing has been problematic from the get-go in, in managing this crisis. And I think we're now all aware that had we kept testing, testing capacity at a local level, a regional level, we would have been able to flex and test a lot more efficiently than has actually happened in centralising it. And, and as a matter of time, I'll pause there, but I'd be happy to re revisit that topic during questions. Thank you, Michelle.